And on December 19, 2009, President Obama signed House Resolution 3326, the 2010 Department of Defense Appropriations Act. In it was a seven bullet point apology. It mentioned no specific tribe, no specific treaty, no specific injustice. It basically said you had some nice land, our people didn't take it very politely. Let's just call it our land and get along together. And it ended with a disclaimer saying nothing in this. It ended with a disclaimer saying nothing in this apology is legally binding. So what do we do? As a church, as a nation, what do we do? How do we respond to this kind of a history? Scripture actually gives us an idea, and it says it calls its people to lament. It calls its people to lament and to weep and to cry over their sins and over their injustices. The problem is, as Americans, we have a very mis guided understanding of what it means to lament. When we think about, as American Christians, what it means to lament the sins of our church and the sins of our nation, we think of something like 2 Chronicles 7.14, which says, if we humble ourselves, repent of our ways, and cry out to God, he will hear our cries and do what? He will heal our land. But we don't remember that we live in a pagan nation that doesn't have a land covenant with God. This promise was made to the people of Israel, not to the United States of America. 